Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of uh, Scrap Mechanic. Um, I don't remember exactly what I did off camera. I know I organized my uh, chest a little bit. Made a fridge for the food. I have a fridge on my car too. As uh, far as I can tell, there's no real benefit to the fridge. Um, costs chemicals, a circuit board, and glue. And it just holds 20 things. You can only put food in there though, but it does include corn and uh, meat chunks that aren't cooked and stuff. But it costs... You know, basically less stone, but chemicals and circuit boards, so... I mean, there's really no benefit to it. It weighs a little less, I guess? I only use it because it's distinctive and easy to find, so it makes sorting a little easier. Um, but then I put, you know, my mechanical stuff in here. Got some empty chest. Then I got my toilet thing here, which we're going to use for this episode today. And then we got seeds, soil, you know, basically. And because, like, when the game was loading up, it would take several seconds for all the textures and stuff to render in because I had so many items placed down on the ground. Uh, once I removed most of them, it seems to do better. So I guess just having items placed on the ground is kind of bad for the game. But, yeah, so we're making a bunch of toilet seeds, which might seem silly, but it only costs five stone and five wood. And they take five seconds to make, so they're really nice. And the cool thing about toilet seats is obviously, you push down, you skip to it, right? You can use it to climb up things. Like the forbidden top of the mechanics thing. And most of the time when you get off one, you're standing on top of it. And if you have more than one, you can chain things up pretty easily. And obviously you know about falling off the roof from previous episodes. I'm not sure how those got there. I've never been on the roof before. No chest. I heard there was a chest up here, but I don't know if it's not an always thing or I'm just not very lucky. But building up here would be kind of cool because no people can get to you. <laughs> but yeah, so we got a bunch of these for a very good reason though. We're going to try to improve the chances of um oil collecting and stuff now unfortunately you can't seem to grab items while on the toilet as opposed to a regular seat oh there's one more thing before we leave what i first started though was this i completely cleared out that amber forest at the last episode so i got like almost four full chests full and then all the cotton obviously and i'm going to take some cotton for a very specific reason I didn't want to touch any of that before the episode, so I didn't build any of this. But if you make a... We need a better driver's seat, obviously, right? But if you make a seat, um, it takes cotton and all this stuff. And which can activate other connected parts while in the seat. So if we make one of these... And then I, we'll need a regular driver's seat in a second. But it takes component kits, unfortunately. But it only takes five, so I guess... You sit on a component kit. Be right back when they finish. Alright guys, so we got um, one uh, seat and then one driver's seat just to show you the difference between them and toilets. So let's go over to the lake area that I was working on earlier. In my next episode, I'm going to try to show you the difference between tires. And I think I have the engine up too high because I was using it to pull my trailer. There we go. There we go. I notice it's a little slow now, but I notice the wheels spin out more when I'm at higher speeds. But yeah, the plan is we're going to use toilet seats to get around quickly underwater because you swim so slow. And to try to make getting oil easier. Now you want a, a part of the water that has lots of oil things around. Clams are I'm kind of iffy on. I mean you don't really care. You still have to get out of the seat to hit the clams and all that. So it's not as important. Oops. But, but uh, I find you know getting oil for not just gas. But shocks and things that take oil. It's kind of a pain. He's still working for clams too, but 
it's not the real board. So if you come down here, you'll see toilet seats. So here's one here. We just get on it. And we could do this. Uh, where'd I put the other one? Hmm. Did I miss one? Oh, there we go. I can't see it because of the thing. And then, like, see, so you can't take that oil, right? There is no button, but I can get off and take the oil. But, if we got rid of this toilet seat, put a normal seat there, I should be able to take it. See? It's weird. I, I don't understand it, but from the toilet seat, you can't grab things. But on a regular seat, you can. Unfortunately, the regular seats are more expensive. You cannot, however, go from that seat to that seat. You have to get off first. So, I mean, there is that. But if you put a normal seat every time you want to grab oil, you don't have to get off. Or you can just do this. And then, of course, you got to take air every once in a while. I was thinking of having a seat come up on a piston or something. Or just, you know, naturally have a couple seats go up every once in a while. But I just find it easier to do that. So now we just want to put some stone down to make it off the ground so it's easier to see. And now, a seat would be good, but we don't have another one right now. I didn't make extra. But, as you can see, I'm holding right click and nothing's happening. They're not coming off. But obviously, you just get off. Then you can put another seat down. Oops. Building on the bottom of the ocean is sometimes difficult, though. And then, obviously, you just do that. And then, when you want to go back, you can just reverse. Just keep tapping it and you quickly and easily get through the ocean. I thought that was just kind of cool. I mean, obviously an underwater car would be better. But for nothing but five stone and five wood, you get all these seats. And obviously if you want clams, just get off your seat and swing your hammer around for clams while you're nearby. Because obviously, I mean, look how slow you swim, right? And this is with holding sprint. And I always just found it annoying. I've done it a lot to get all those chests. But you can just use these to sort of get to points. I started putting some lights on it to try to make them easier to find. Those lights aren't the best though, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so now we're here. Let's get in there. And as you can see, there's a couple ways we could go. We can make a loop, which would be the best, so that we end up where we started. Or we can just keep going further into this little ocean over here. So if we just go, you want to stand right on top of the seat. And basically go to your build limit. And obviously use some seats. Now I didn't bring my chest with me. But you can hold quite a few of these things. You just want to put some in your hop bar. Like that. And decide where you want to go. Hmm. As you can see, this is a huge stretch of ocean with absolutely nothing. I think I'm going to start going over there, I guess. Making my decision made me kind of drowny, though. Now, I could have put some seats on these rocks going up, or just bigger and bigger poles. But I don't know, for whatever reason, swimming up and down seems to be pretty fast. But there we go. And if you make it high like this, it's a little easier to see where you're going. But yeah, now I've always, like I said, to get back. Just, oh, that one's a little far, I think. No, it makes it okay. And you can get across large parts of the ocean in very little time. You just have to try to make sure you can find your seat. So, like, obviously some of these could probably be a little taller. And the lights do help. Oh, and a chest. But yeah, that was this. I'm going to work on it in a little while, make a big loop, and then I'll be back, back with you guys after we get this chest. Alright, guys. So, I got all my chairs in. Oops. Alright, guys. So, I got all my chairs in. We're going to do a little run. It's not going to be perfect, because some of them still haven't respawned since I put the chairs in. But, um, let's give it a shot. Now, this took... Oops. Quite a few. Uh, chairs, I think it was... More than a chest full of uh, toilets, 
And I think I made like, oopsie, I messed that up. That's weird. I did not realize that problem before. The seed actually seem to be a bit of a problem because you can grab them instead. But as you can see, I didn't pick the best spot. In the distance, you can see there's tons more oil on the other side. And this one hasn't respawned. Um, I did find out to save cotton, you can um, make saddles. Uh, they cost five cotton instead of ten, but they're exactly like the normal seats. I think they cost a little more stone, but who cares? But yeah, so obviously not all this is respawned like I would have liked. But as you can see, it's pretty fast, and I think it's kind of funny. The hardest part is to obviously remember where you put the seats. And then, you know, you can just get it. Like I said, you don't need the actual saddles and seats. You just grab it after you hop off the chair. But as you can see, I've gotten around fast enough that I only had to come up for air once, really. I don't know if I actually did that right, but see, there's like three right here. But I mean, this is way, way, way faster than swimming. And it didn't cost me anything more than really stone and wood. Uh, the, the actual saddle seats would be cost cotton. But as you can see, I picked kind of the baddest spot. Like, this little circle I made is completely devoid of oil compared to what's on the other half of the ocean. But still, I only got 12 because only a couple of them respawned. But if you did this in a better area, like over here, um, you know, pick a nice spot. I'd probably also say don't go near your base so that it's not in a loaded tile. So you don't have to worry about possible lag. I only have enough lights for like maybe one every couple chairs. But um, yeah, I probably should take my car. Oh well. But yeah, I noticed while I was building that there was way better oil over here. Yeah, see, so I, I could have made a much better little circle here. I mean, there's several sections where there's three to four all in one little spot. I might make it over here again. I just finished that one because I wanted to have something for the recording today. It took a decent amount of time because while you're placing it, you have to go up and down for air quite a bit. You could possibly stack it up. And as you can see, this particular spot's not as deep as where I was either. But yeah, there is so much more oil here. Like I could make a little oil like from here to that ocean and then back and I'd get way more. But yeah, guys, I just thought that was a cool little trick to getting oil a little faster. I mean, you could also use it for clams, but you'd have to slow down to smash things. I think you could shoot them with the spud gun, maybe. And that would make it a little faster, but obviously you'd be wasting spuds. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So, just to guys sign it off. Catch you guys later.